in the previous videos i discussed about two qdb autors components recommendation generator and supervisor in this video i am going to talk about the basic workflow and show you how recommendation generator and supervisor are working as a whole so let's see the basic workflow first the recommendation generator is always always watching the QDB resources. Currently, there are six databases supported, MySQL, MariaDB, MongoDB, PostgreSQL, Elasticsearch, and Redis. After that, if the recommendation generator finds any recommendation for those databases, then he creates the recommendation object. And in the meantime, supervisor is always watching for recommendation objects. So when supervisor finds any recommendation objects, then he will look for the corresponding maintenance window, cluster maintenance window, or any approval policy. According to, the, according to those maintenance window, cluster maintenance window approval policy, supervisor will create the off request in the given uh, specified maintenance window. So this is the basic workflow of the recommendation generator and supervisor as a whole. Now let's see the custom resources provided by supervisor. At first, Let's see a sample recommendation custom resource. The recommendation custom resource has API version, kind, metadata, and spec sections like other Kubernetes objects. It is a namespace scoped object. In the spec section, let's talk about the fields one by one. The first field is backup limit. The backup limit is basically stands for how many times supervisor will try to execute the off request in failure cases the default backup limit is five that means the recommendation will be will try to be executed five more time if it the if the operation is failed after that there is a field called description the description holds basically why this recommendation is for and in the operation section the full yaml of the off request will exist and after that, there is a field called recommender. In the it, it holds the recommendation, the name of the recommendation generator. After that, there is a field called require explicit approval. It basically holds if the recommendation should be manually approved by a human user or not. So if the required explicit approval is set as true. In those cases, the recommendation will must be approved by a human user. And the supervisor will skip any approval policy if set. After there is a field called rules, and it holds three sub field failed in progress and success. In those fields, it holds a rule for supervisor to understand the current phase of the operation or of sequence. Let's say if the in progress rule is satisfied, then the supervisor can understand that the created off request is in in progress. When the success rule will be satisfied, then the supervisor can understand that the created off request is already succeeded. After that, there is a target section. Target section is basically hold the API group kind and the name of the database resource for which this recommendation is actually generated for. Now let's see a sample maintenance window custom resource. A sample maintenance window custom resource has API version kind and metadata and spec section like other Kubernetes objects. It is a namespace scope object. In the spec section, there is a field called is default, which basically holds for is the maintenance window is, a, is used in default cases when the user is not provided any maintenance window. And after that, there is optional field called time job. If user provides any time zone, then the, the time in the base section will be considered accordingly. If user doesn't provide any time zone, then the specified time in the base section will be considered as UTC time. In the days, user can specify any week days and a list of maintenance window time. And in the base section, user can also accordingly specified a starting time and a ending time and it also a list of maintenance window time after that let's talk about a cluster maintenance window custom resource cluster maintenance window 
custom resource is exactly same as the maintenance window. The difference between both is cluster maintenance window is a cluster scope object and maintenance window is a namespace scope object. Now let's see a sample approval policy custom resource. Approval policy is used for to tell the supervisor to execute a particular type of ops request without any human approval. Here, user can specify a maintenance window reference in which user want to execute those type of particular ops request. And in the target section, user can specify a list of group kind. And under the list of group kind, user can specify a list of operations. And in the operations, user can specify the group and kind of the ops request for which this approval policy will be valid. Now let's talk about the possible recommendation phases. There are six possible phases for recommendation. The first one is pending. Pending is basically hold, telling that the recommendation is currently missing one or more prerequisites. And in these cases, user action is needed. Let's say the recommendation should be approved by a human user. Or even after approval, there is no maintenance window to apply this recommendation. In those cases, the recommendation phase will be pending. Skip stands for the recommendation is rejected by a human user or the recommendation is becomes outdated for some reason. Waiting stands for the recommendation is waiting for the maintenance window or to be for the execution. And in progress stands for the recommendation is currently executing its operation. Succeeded stands for the recommendation it has been successfully executed its operation. And when the phase will be failed, that is telling us that the recommendation has reached its back of limit or it is encounter an error. That's all from this video. In the next video, I will show you a demo how the recommendation generator can automatically generate a rotate TLS recommendation and how to execute those rotate TLS recommendation in a specific maintenance window by supervisor. See you there. Thank you.